Hey guys, welcome back to Can Outdoors. Um, just thought I'd do an update video on my Bear Salute, my compound bow that I got a couple weeks ago. Um, and uh, this will be my first year archery hunting, if I haven't mentioned that already, which I probably have because I like to ramble. But anyway, uh, the bow came basically bare bones. It had a sight on it, had a whisker biscuit on it. Uh, that was it. It didn't even have a quiver or anything like that. So I went and bought a quiver for it. That's the first thing I'll show you. It's just the standard uh, Trophy Ridge 4 banger. It's got the little release on it so you can take it off if you need to. It does add some weight to that side but it's not too much, I don't think. Um, went and bought four new arrows for it because uh, the other bow I was shooting at 29 inches of draw, and this one was set at 28 when I first got it, and I tried it out, and it felt much better than 29. Um, my draw length is supposed to be about 28 and a half, if you wanna get technical. So 28 to 30, is pretty good for me and both of the bows that I've used so far you can't adjust for half inch so I tried both of them 28 seems really nice on this bow um, so I got the uh, I got the quiver on there uh, I just went and grabbed that at Walmart uh, two weeks ago it was the last one in stock and I wanted to also get a stabilizer for it they were out of stabilizers of course it's almost archery season, everybody's there buying everything because in the middle of nowhere where we live, um, there are no archery shops. The closest one is like an hour away and the closest Walmart's only 25 minutes. So I'd rather just go to Walmart. Not that I love Walmart or anything, but I'd rather just go there and grab what I need. So I wanted to get a stabilizer. They didn't have one. I could order one online but it might not be here until like the last week before hunting season and that's not going to give me enough time to practice with the stabilizer on there so I had a choice either go without a stabilizer or make my own so I ended up making my own um, it's not the coolest looking thing in the world but it does work very well I'll show you that real quick it's a uh, one inch PVC there are some holes drilled in it as you can see three on the top three on the bottom and then two on each side it has a rounded end cap which of course had some raised writing on it doesn't matter um, a flat end cap on this side with the uh, 5 16 by 24 thread bolt it has a little nut to separate it from the bow itself and it just screws on um, I had I added two ounces of steel into the end cap well actually into the the pipe itself right at the end it's about this long and it was the same diameter as the uh, the pipe itself the inside so it slid in there kind of tight but it did fit so I put it in there and then I glued the around the outer edge of it and then I put the end cap on with some glue on the base of it to hold that steel there. This is just temporary. As soon as I get a chance to buy one that has two ounces of weight on it, because that feels really good when I shoot, I'm just going to yank this thing off and toss it. I don't really care. I spray painted it black. I might end up putting some green paint on it just to give it a little bit of a camo look to it. Um, another thing that I made for it was this... Uh, wrist strap this is 550 paracord and it has a king cobra weave which is a cobra with another cobra over top of it it's wider thicker um, right now I just have it loose but it does tighten up tightens up just like that but um, so I did those two things added those two things myself added the um, the quiver on here um, I did sight it in. It's sighted in for 20, 30, and 40 yards. I paper tuned it and adjusted the uh, whisker biscuit rest, and it is shooting about as perfect as it can. I can't move it anymore, but 
it is almost a perfect bullet hole. So I can't argue with those results. Um, oh, one thing, when I first got this, the peep sight was not installed. I had to install it myself. Wrapped it myself. Did a wrap on the top, wrap on the bottom, and then I wrapped along each one of these to keep the, the phrase from coming out. Um, what I used for the wrapping was a 65 pound Power Pro braid, which is a braided fishing line. It's an eight carrier braid, and it has it's waxed as well. So I felt like that would work pretty darn good. I don't know what most people use, but it works good. It looks good. It holds that peep sight. You can't move it up or down because of the way that I wrapped it. Um, so what I ended up doing was I pulled it back and I had my wife, before I wrapped it, slide it up and down until it was perfect and then I marked the spot and then I wrapped everything. So that's what I ended up doing but peep sight works really good. It is lined up perfectly for me. It cannot move. Um, as far as draw length and draw weight, it is at 28 inches, like I said. And one thing about this bow that you might not know, and if you're considering buying one, something you should know, because I didn't know this. It, this bow is rated between 50 and 70 pounds, and you can adjust it between the two. However, one thing that they don't tell you in the description until you buy this bow is it's one of the few dual cam compound bows where when you adjust the length you're also adjusting weight most of them don't do that but this one does for sure I checked it out it's in the manual and I called bear today to confirm that it does indeed change the weight at 30 pounds with the limb bolts tightened all the way down like they are now or 30 inches I don't know if I said pounds 30 inches with the limb bolts tightened all the way down that's 70 pounds if you turn it down to uh, 29 inches just one inch difference it reduces it by six pounds even without adjusting this so with the limb bolts tightened all the way down 29 inches is uh, 64 pounds roughly give or take a half pound or so and at 28 inches it reduces it by 10 so with the limb bolts tightened all the way down and I know you can see a little bit of light through there but it's only at the edge back here right about here is where the limb bolts themselves actually touch this so it is tightened as far down as it can it's at 60 pounds and it's tightened all the way down that's something you should know if you're considering buying one of these uh, but it's a great bow I cannot complain about it even though it's only at 60 pounds I think 60 pounds is great it seems to feel really good for me this thing is shooting really good groups although I did stop shooting groups a few days ago and started shooting single arrows at a time going and getting the arrow bringing the arrow back, shooting a different arrow, bringing that arrow back, because I ended up shooting one of my other arrows, hitting the knock and breaking it, it also broke the shaft. So, I can't use it anymore, obviously. Um, and even though they're cheaper arrows, these are like, I don't know, four dollars I think they are? because that was my only option. I would have liked to get a little bit better arrow, but that was the only thing that fit my size and uh, spine that I needed. Oh, I did mark all my arrows, one through four. I ended up breaking one by hitting it, so I stopped shooting groups and decided I was gonna go buy another arrow, so I went and bought another arrow, so now I have four again. I can't complain at all, so uh, yeah, so I stopped shooting the groups because I hit that other arrow, and I, I'm afraid that if I hit any more arrows, you know, by accident, I won't be able to go buy any more because there might not be any more. There's no stabilizers. Um, there's no more peep sights. There's, uh, there's almost no more anything. When I bought this quiver, it was the last one. So, 
yeah I don't I definitely don't want to risk breaking another arrow so I'm just gonna shoot one shot grab the arrow bring it back so if you guys see me in the shooting videos doing that and you're like why are you wasting so much energy it's because I don't want to break any more arrows I can't afford it well I can afford it I just <laughs> if I lose too many of them I won't have any for hunting so but that'll be it for this video guys um, I really enjoy this bow and you'll be seeing a lot of hunting videos I'm working on trying to figure out where I can mount a camera on myself so that I can give you a a view of what I'm seeing when I'm out there in the field hunting so I'm working on that um, I'll show you one shot from this uh, the other day and I'll show you that arrow as well so that you can see how well this this bow is actually performing for me being an absolute noob a beginner um, this bow is performing phenomenal so I'll show you a couple clips clips there and don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely subscribe because there are more videos coming of me shooting um, probably some more things that I'm gonna do this bow along the way and a lot of hunting videos coming up we might even get a monster buck there's been a few 13 and 14 pointers uh, sighted on the properties um, there's about 5,000 acres that we can hunt and it's all agricultural and uh, and woodlands I mean it's absolute heaven for the deer so we get a lot of big bucks around here so hopefully we'll get one of those this year if not I'll at least fill my freezer and you guys can come along for the journey so don't forget to comment subscribe and like the video I'll see you in the next one have a good night I did already, but I wasn't recording. No way.